Okay, so page 285, we are going to be starting chapter 5, lesson 2, okay? Our essential question is still, so how can I multiply by a two-digit number? All right, and so yesterday we started working with multiplying by tens, okay, which is anything that ends in a zero. And you guys did pretty good for the most part with that. Today, we're going to be working on estimating again. So we should be getting, because every chapter we do some form of estimating. And what is estimating again? Like a guess, right? And when we estimate, what do we do with our numbers? What are we doing? Rounding. rounding. We are rounding our numbers, okay? So let's look at the first example on page 285. And make sure we're doing cubes. It says a hamster sleeps 14 hours each day. About how many hours does a hamster sleep in three weeks? So that each lets us know we're probably going to be multiplying, right? About lets us know that we're doing what? Rounding. Rounding. Some of us on our test for chapter four, when you saw about, you kind of skipped over it, okay? If you don't round, then we, and it's wrong because they want an estimate. They don't want the exact answer. All right, so there are 21 days in three weeks, right? Okay, so 21 days in three weeks. So the three weeks we don't need anymore, do we? No. So right now we got 21 and 14. So estimate 21 times 14. Now they're telling us to round to the nearest 10. So what am I going to underline for 21? What's the 10's place? Keegan. The 2. And I'm going to circle the boss. 21 rounds to what? 20. 20. Underline the one, circle the four. 14 rounds to what? So 21 rounds the nearest 10 is 20. 14 rounds the nearest 10 is 14. So now we're actually going to take what we learned yesterday and we're going to use it again. Okay? So we can do 0 times 20, the whole thing. What's 0 times 20? 0. zero. Then we take 1 times 0 and 1 times 2. Does that make sense? Yes. So we're, we're estimating, but we're also taking what we learned yesterday. Oh, I put the wrong thing. Is that better? Is that better? Okay, thanks. All right. So number two, a hamster sleeps about ten hours in twenty days. Is we're rounding, right? Okay. So. This is the actual product. We rounded down and down, right? We rounded both numbers down, didn't we? Yeah. Since both factors were rounded down, the estimate is less than the actual product. So since we rounded them both down, then our estimate is less than our actual product. If we would have rounded up, it would be more or greater, yes. Oh, I did that wrong. Erase that. That last part. They wanted the total. So a hamster sleeps about 200 hours in 21 days. Sorry, guys. <coughs> good. All right, we good? All right, let's look at the next example which is on the next page. It says Tanya spends 35 minutes playing at the park each day. About how 
how many minutes does she play at the park in 38 days? So what is our equation, actual equation? We don't want to estimate yet. What's our actual equation? 35 times 38. Yep, or they have 38 times 35. Okay, but they want, we see the word about, and about means? Yeah. Round. So 38 rounded to the nearest 10, what's that round to? 40. And 35 rounded to the nearest 10. Number seven? 40. 40. Okay, does that sound good? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna show you two ways you can solve this. We can do what we did yesterday and do 40 times zero, which is zero. 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 And then four times zero, zero. and four times four. Zero. Or, I'm gonna do over here, just a little side note. Because these are both zeros, I can say, okay, what's four times four? 16, and how many zeros do we have? Two. Two. You can do it either way, okay? Any questions on this? All right, so now you have all this filled in already, right? So she spends about 1,600 1, minutes playing at the park. So did we round them up or down? So both factors were rounded up, so the estimate is less or more? More than the actual product, or greater, either one, than the actual product, because we rounded them both up. All right. All right, let's look at number one. So 57 rounded to the greatest, um, I'm sorry, 57 rounded to the nearest 10. 60. 25 rounded to the nearest 10. 30. Okay, is everyone good with that? So 0 times 60 is 0. 3 times 0? And three times six. Thank you. Thank you. Or again, I'll show you both ways. You can do six times three, which is eighteen, and then there's two zeros. That's how I try. Now, did we round them both up or down? Up. Up. So is it greater than or less than? Greater. Greater than. Good job. Does everyone feel comfortable with this? Yeah. All right. Let's do one more together. Okay, let's do number two together. 28 rounds to? 30. And 25 rounds to? 30. 30 times 30 is? 90. Pay attention to what you're doing. Okay, let's do this together. Three times three is? How many zeros? Two. 900. So did we round them both up or down? Uh -oh. So are we greater than or less than the actual product? Greater than. Greater than. Yeah, apparently I missed it. All right. I did 